It was very common in the 70s, 80s and 90s and early 2000s for a family to use blank VHS tapes and record their favourite TV shows. Most of the time, tapes have been recorded over numerous times. And now it's up to me to find the last mystery VHS tape and see what shit we can salvage. This is Mystery Tape Time. 1989 into Dominions? Into Dominions? What is a Dominion? What is a Dominion? We had to pull this one out because I don't know what a Dominion is. Welcome to Mystery Tapes, episode three. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, thumbs up, do all that jazz because every single week I'm going to be bringing you a mystery tape from the mystery box that I brought, man. So you ready? Let's do this. Good evening, everyone, and welcome along to our coverage of the 1989 Inter-Dominion Pacing Championships here from Gloucester Park. Okay. Inter-Dominion means horse racing. We ain't going to be watching that. Let's fast forward to the ads. Let's fast forward to TV commercials, our favourite, our favourite. Let's see if we can find some weird shit. Makes you dizzy watching the horses go around and around and around and around. I'll fast forward and around and around and around and around and around. And they just don't stop racing and around and around. I was not a couple, but I'll be ready, Dad. <laughs> Well, obviously, you've got him better than you've ever had him before for any series. I love his fringe. His fringe is just so fringy. And his teeth are just so, like, teethy. But his fringe is just... Is that a comb-over? Does that count as a comb-over? I'm not going to count it as a comb-over, but it's fringy. Thank fuck that's over. <laughs> Land of the Long White Cloud, New Zealand. Look how happy these fucking pricks are. If it's a documentary, how's it written by someone? Fast forward. In 1960, in the rugged country on the shores of Lake Tanganyika, Jane Goodall, 4,000 miles from home, started her... Uh, this is called Among the... Among... Among... This is called Among the Chimpanzees. I am going to watch this because I do like monkey stuff. Um, I'm going to watch if anything good comes on. I'll put the good stuff on. But otherwise, I'll just fast forward to ads. But I'm going to watch this chimpanzee shit. Which for the wild chimpanzee. When I arrived at the Gombe Stream Reserve, I felt that at long last, my childhood ambition was being realized. <laughs> We all have ambitions when we're children. Uh, someone wants to be a doctor. Someone wants to be an astronaut. I want to be on YouTube. I want to watch mystery videos. But she wants to fucking go play with chimpanzees. That is her ambition. Let it be. Let her do it. Let her do what she wants with the chimpanzees, all right? The chimps very gradually came to realize that I was not dangerous after all. All right, she's going to get her face ripped off. I can see this is going somewhere good. I can see her face is going to get ripped off. We're continuing with her story. Never forget the day after about 18 months when for the first time, a small group allowed me to approach and be near them. Finally, I had been accepted. I think it was one of the proudest and most exciting moments of my whole life. <laughs> they didn't give a fuck you were there. They didn't allow you to do anything. They just fucking were lazy chimpanzees. They laying there just not giving a fuck, chilling the fuck out, and you were sitting there with a little diary fucking writing shit down. I'm glad that was one of your greatest moments of your life. Fantastic for you. Let's see if they rip the shit out of her. Surely this is going to come to her getting ripped apart. Let's continue. Let's hope. Old Flo, with a bulbous nose and ragged ears, is matriarch of the family Jane would come to know best. Why do they have to call her Old Flo? Why would they name her Old Flo? 
And to say that she had raggedy ears, she's never going to get to watch this. She, she has feelings too. I know it's your life ambition, but you don't have to say she's got raggedy ears. She's a nice little chimpanzee and you don't have to call her old Flo. She's got feelings, man. In defense of their nest, the termites grip onto the grass. And with utmost care, the chimp gently draws them out. Genius. They knew how to make kebabs as well. Fucking pure genius, these chimpanzees are. It, gets, it got boring. It got boring. I have to fast forward this shit. I can't do it anymore. To reveal to the world the shy, unaggressive creature. I have to play this. So I have to play this because I think this closer to the animals by imitating their behavior. One animal who was very That's supposed to be Sigourney Weaver. That is the gorillas in the mist story. That is the gorillas in the mist story. By the way, the last lady did not get fucking mauled. It got boring. But this is the gorillas in the mist lady. This is Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney! Sigons! Sigons! Sigons was a real thing! Sigons! Gorillas in the Mist was real! Oh, actually, that ends fucking tragic! Oh, we don't want that to be real. We don't want that to be real. Not that story. Damn. Poor lady. Yeah, I couldn't watch that anymore. That was just, that was nasty. That was absolutely, I'm fast forwarding through this, but I want to get some ads. That was nasty. Sigon, I know it wasn't really Sigons, but the Sigons, that's just nasty. So here we got a polar bear trying to get this guy. <laughs> He's trying to fuck this guy up taking photos in a cage. It's like a shark cage. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You deserve to get mauled by this polar bear. You deserve to get mauled by this polar bear. I'm actually rooting for the polar bear right now. Australian filmmakers Valerie Taylor and her husband Ron may know as much about shark attack as anyone alive. Okay, so this could be good. We could get someone attacked by a shark here. The tailors don stainless steel suits reminiscent of medieval armor. There you are. All right. That chain link looks a bit thin. I think some teeth could get through that. Once they're eating, she'll draw the bait close to her body hoping the sharks will become confused between her and the fish. Why am I watching this one and hoping for the worst? Is it because I had a bad day at work today and fucking I want to see people get hurt? She was... She was taunting it. She was taunting the shark. She was holding the she was holding the fucking dead fish on her arm for the shark to come and bite her arm. Oh, think about it. She wanted the shark to bite her arm. Why would you want the shark to bite your arm? You're a fucking dickhead. You're a dickhead woman. Oh, let's continue and see her get mauled by a shark now because she's taunting it. She's getting what she deserves. She's getting what she deserves. I'm enjoying this now. You deserve it. You deserve that. She put it there on purpose again. She wants to get bitten by the shark on her arm. Why did she keep putting it there on purpose? Why does she keep doing this? <laughs> now it's munging at her neck. It's munging on the back of her neck. She didn't even have a fish there with the back of the neck. So now she is getting some fucking karma by teasing these sharks. And now it's fucking biting her back of her neck. Yeah. It's, this is great. She's get this is great. Shark, the jugular is there. Go there. That's where you want to bite. Oh, and it bit her on the ass. It bit her on the ass. <laughs> the situation gets out of hand. 
It's all Valerie can do to protect her face and mask. The shark strips off Valerie's steel glove. Oh, so you're going to let the shark die now. How is he going to digest that fucking glove? How is he going to digest that glove, you... Get out of the water. The shark is still there. Get out of the fucking water now. The thing that happened was he got the glove off somehow. He just ripped it off. And this hand, this naked hand was in his mouth. So I grabbed, put that hand in so that he couldn't crunch down on it. I did it just like that. And if, but you can see why he got the thumb. Because it was sticking up. Good. You deserve to get bitten. But now do you realize you're standing there with your legs in the water still on the ladder while you're dripping blood in the water. Surely this is gonna end great. But we know it's not. We know it's not. We already know it's not. But she's standing there dripping blood in the water with her feet in the water. She she, she put her arm I, Valerie, you're a fuckhead. You're a fucking idiot, Valerie. To keep them from scorching on the hot sand, it lifts them alternately in the air. Is that the greatest lizard you've ever seen? That is the greatest lizard you've ever seen. I love this lizard. A pleasantly eccentric couple who've lived on the same island for over 30 years. They have been living on, whatever this show is, they have been living on this island for too long. Look how tanned and pruned they are. Their skin is pruned. They are tanned as fuck. Look at that shit. I don't know what this fucking shit is. This is weird shit. I'm fast forwarding through this crap. MacGyver returns home to help a promising hockey player, but he has to first convince the boy's father that talent isn't measured by violence. MacGyver, 7.30 tonight. Talent isn't measured by violence. That is not what MacGyver told me when I was a kid. That's not what he taught us. It's confusing these days, isn't it? So many family shampoos to choose from. They all claim to be good quality, but are they? One thing's for sure, you can really trust Pears. Pears is pure and gentle, and it always has been. Real quality for a lot less than you'd expect to pay. That was freaky. That was very freaky cartoon. I didn't like that. Look at this guy's chopper. Look at his chopper. That is the chopper of the year. Look how good it is. 1989, they had some fucking sick choppers. That is a fucking beautiful chopper. Well done, buddy. That is a fucking good chopper. I want to know if this guy has still got his chopper. Do you still have your chopper, buddy? Are you the guy in this ad? Next week at this time, a World Vision special entitled Hope for the Children. I hope you can join us there. How good is Susanna Carr? She is still going to this day. Childhood. Childhood grew up with Susanna. And that hair, Susanna, that hair right there is sick. Look at that hair. Look at that hair, Susanna Carr. You do, you fucking, you've done it for me. You're doing it for me still, Susanna. In Home and Away. You were her boyfriend, weren't you? Uh, not her boyfriend. Just a friend who's a boy. There's a very big difference. Just a boy who's a friend. There's a difference. To put it nicely, he's rooting her. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, even she knows. Even she knows you're full of shit. Andrew Foley. That's him. But that school teacher bloke. Yep. A moral dilemma. You spring it on us just when he's due to arrive. Will involvement jeopardize his patient's recovery? Shit. He's your school teacher. He's your school teacher. You can't do that. It's illegal. It's illegal. Don't do it. He gets too close to you to do his job properly. Point, what if you get too close to him again? Monday at 7 on 7. That looks like a good episode Home and Away. I've got to tell you, that looks like a good episode Home and Away. I do want, I hope that's on one of these tapes. I hope that's on one of these tapes because I do need to see that episode now. I want to see what happens to the teacher. I want to see what happens to the teacher. Listen up, everybody. I've got something in this old lady purse that's going to make you scream, holler, and jump for joy. Are the batteries included? Good job. <sighs> This was a daytime show, Golden Girls, and it was very sexual. I never got it when I was a kid. I never understood this when I was a kid. But now I know they're talking about a vibrator, but I didn't know this back then. 
Dirty, dirty golden girls, dirty. Let's complete this famous saying, better late than Blanche pregnant. It really should have been on adults only time, I think. This was a daytime program. This was a daytime. I want to watch some golden girls now. I want to watch some golden girls now. I want to. Harney a win at his first drive in the race. How do you feel right now? Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Um, but isn't he a lovely old horse? He just. Well, he just keeps fighting. These jockeys really are like tiny people. They're normal people, but they are. I suppose I'm a giant, but I'm a giant to them. Tall people can't be jockeys, can they? Too much weight on the horse. Why don't they just get kids to ride horses? Anyway, why is there more horse stuff on this tape? Horse, horse stuff. There's more horse shit. <laughs> now this is Don Burke, Burt's backyard. What a champion this guy was. Every weekend night, I think it was, but did anyone ever see what Burke's backyard actually looked like? His own personal backyard. He never actually showed his own personal backyard. He always had all these handy tips, but he never showed his own backyard. Burke, I think you're a fraud. I think you're a fraud and you need to show, you need to show what your backyard actually looks like, Burke. Show us what your backyard looks like, Burke. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this tape. We've established that was 1989 because it said at the start it was 1989 Dominion. Horse racing Dominion. Not a bad tape. Wasn't the greatest, but you can't win them all. Better than a kick in the dick. So that was that tape. 1989 Dominion. Don't forget to like, subscribe every week. We are going to be back with another tape. I'm just going to pull out a random tape from the box and we are going to watch it. I am tired because this one went for a while, to be honest. They must have taped it on long play. But uh, this one went for a while. So it's free to subscribe. Come on, subscribe, like. This is every week. And I'm going to have extra stuff on this channel as well. Every week is a mystery tape, VHS tape. This year was brought to you by 1989. The year the horses ran round and round on the track. 1989. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and do whatever the fuck you want. Cheers, guys. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next week for whatever episode. It's going to be episode four, and we'll be back with another mystery tape. I love a mystery tape. Who doesn't love a mystery tape? I love it. See you.